We're back now, 845, and all week long we're showing you how to simplify summer entertaining. Katie Lee is here. She's the host of a brand new show called Beach Bites, which debuts tomorrow night on the Cooking Channel. Yes. Katie, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. I read about the show. You travel to the best beaches in this part of the world and pull recipes from each of these. Yeah, it was a really tough job, especially because serious? we filmed in the winter. So I went all around eating, having great food, and this is hanging a out at the beach. Total scam. <laughs> but it works for us because the, the recipe you're making today is inspired by the show. It is. So I went to Mexico on the show, and these are grilled pork tenderloin tacos with pineapple cucumber salsa and lime sour cream. Let's Super take yummy. a look at the ingredients. Nothing all that complicated. Anything no, here that jumps out as being really unusual? This is really super simple. It, it's a really easy recipe and pork tenderloin is really lean. It's almost as lean as boneless skinless chicken breast. So it really needs to marinate to give it a lot of flavor. This is a step you do not want people to skip. No, you got to marinate. Okay. All right. So in the blender, I've got some honey in here, canola oil and lime juice. Matt, why don't you add the cilantro? Okay. Do and we then, have our guys downstairs? Yeah. Mm. Are Do you all eating? Mm -hmm. and and is hey. unbelievable. The margarita Katie is we're real gonna, strong. Got a heavy gonna, hand. We're going <laughs> to get to the uh, the great taco shell debate in oh. just a second, mm -hmm. but go ahead. Jalapeno. If mm -hmm. you want this really spicy, I put in the, uh, wow. the seeds and the membranes. If not, leave it out. Garlic, lime zest, and chili powder. Okay. Okay. So put the top on the blender. Where is it? Oh. It's right there. Here we go. Got and it. then blend that up. So I like to blend a marinade because then it gets evenly distributed and really like gets into your meat. So you just want to let it totally puree like this. Put it into a sealable bag. I've got two pork tenderloins that are about a pound each. This marinades for one to four hours in the refrigerator. Uh, and you do this overnight? Can you? Can no, you, no, you don't want to do it more than four hours because okay. the lime juice actually starts to break, break down, down the, the meat, meat and you'll lose the um, the texture. We're going to grill that on top of the pork in a second. Yes. Talk to me about the so toppings. So while it's marinating, make your salsa. I've got pineapple in here. You could substitute peach or apricot. Mm -hmm. I think pineapple has a nice tropical flavor. Some jalapeno, red onion lime juice and cucumber. Why don't you stir that for okay, me? Okay, got it. So cucumber has a really high water content and it adds a lot of crunch and if it's hot outside, a food like that will really help cool you off. What? Now, I, I saw the sour cream out over on the ingredient table there. What's mm -hmm. the reason for that? So it's a lime sour cream, so it's just sour cream and lime juice. You know, I think tacos, you gotta have sour cream. Okay. I love sour cream. All right. And then I put it into a squeeze bottle. It makes it really easy to squeeze onto your tacos. All right, back mm. downstairs, guys. You forget the margaritas so for a mm. second. No, great flavors. I can, I'm drunk. Yeah, you like it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I give so you good. a lot of alcohol, so you'll like the tacos. They're really good. Yeah, we love the tacos. I love that salsa, that pineapple cucumber. Yeah. 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 And a soft taco. And it's it's like a soft, but like it's also been grilled a bit, right? Yeah. So they've I'm hijacked the segment here. They, they, they just take it away. That's fine. Okay. That's good. <laughs> the pork, take it out of the refrigerator a half an hour before you're going to grill it because if you let the meat come to room temperature, you'll get a better sear. So dry it off, salt and pepper it onto the grill. Since it's so lean, you want to do it really hot and fast to get a sear on it. Then move it to indirect heat. Let it rest for 10 minutes before you slice it up. I'll meet you. All right. Now, the All debate right. over hard shells hard or, or soft shells. What you, do you prefer? You like hard shells, I right? do. I like the crunch factor. I'll take it any way I can get it. I like hard or soft shells. Okay. So pork tenderloin goes on your taco. Why don't you make one? Make it crunchy. Okay. All right. They're harder to then, make in the crunchy ones because you have to kind of fit it in there a little bit more. And then your salsa. Yeah. I like a little bit of shredded purple cabbage. It gives crunch and like really nice color. Okay, guys downstairs, has anyone changed their cream. opinion on the uh, hard or soft shell debate? <laughs> we got a whole other thing going on down yeah, here. Yeah, I have you a do feeling. not want to. I have a feeling. <laughs> okay, because I know you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know you guys too well. <laughs> you already knew it. But as soon as it came out of your mouth, you knew it. Too well. well we're forever no, 12. Sometimes now. working with people for too long is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. You serve it with the margaritas. Have some tequila. And a little yeah. fresh lime Honey squeezed over the top. A nice summer fruit. You know, Keep it sweet. guys, congratulations graduating from third grade. <laughs> take, take a bite. Let's eat that. Yeah, okay. Come on, All right, I'll Come take on, a Mr. bite. Right, uh, Come on. She took a bite. I'm going to say, Katie Lee, thank you for these recipes and more. Head to today.com. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here.
to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.